All right, thank you, Zah. Selalu lupa. So, um, uh, for those yang are who, for those who are not in the academy 2.0, okay. Uh, as usual, uh, every Monday we have this Monday wisdom kan. So uh, hari ni kita punya giliran, kita punya topik uh, is to talk about gratitude. Okay. So sebelum tu, do you guys hear ada noise dekat my side? Is it too loud? My the noise? Okay. Okay, okay je. Alright. Okay. Okay. So um, since we talk about gratitude, uh, korang pernah tak dengar law of attraction? Siapa tidak pernah dengar, boleh type dekat chat. Uh, just type tidak pernah. Ataupun tak pernah. Law of attraction. Hello. Oh, semua orang pernah dengar. Okay. So, um, okay, so if you want to understand law of attraction ni, kita kena faham dulu lah. How does it work actually kan? So, um, in this world, dalam dunia ni, everything has a matter. Matter tu bukan masalah. Matter tu is like a, a jirim. A jirim. Kan, jirim yang kita belajar dulu-dulu uh, masa, masa sekolah jirim. Everything is made of jirim. Kita punya badan, ourselves, the plants, our major kerusi, our TV semua adalah di, uh, made of jirim. So if we look under the microscope, okay, jirim-jirim uh, semua ni dia akan vibrate. Okay, mengikut uh, dia punya speed lah. So different object, different things have a different um, vibration. And they vibrate in a different speed. Okay, so um, a little bit of science, okay, uh, tapi it's very simple. Uh, benda yang kita boleh faham uh, very easily lah because it's uh, something that we always see in our life lah. So, if you understand law of vibration, okay, se se sebab semua barang, semua objek tu dia akan bergetar. Dia ada jirim and setiap jirim tu dia akan bergetar ikut dia punya speed. So, everything is made of um, of uh, matter which has a vibration. So now we understand what is vibration, we understand what is the law of vibration, then kita boleh faham what is law of attraction. So law of attraction tu maksudnya adalah everything that vibrates at the same frequency. So things that vibrate at the same frequency, they akan drawn together, they akan menarik each other. Okay, so if my chunk told you to so um, okay. <laughs> okay, so if you want to attract something, um, you need to make sure you are vibrating the same frequency as that thing that you not attract. Okay, so that includes apa yang kita fikir, apa yang kita cakap. Okay, so frequency, of course, lah, it's hard to measure, kan? Macam mana I nak tahu your frequency is what? How do I know even what is the frequency of myself? I, I, I don't have a tool to measure that. Tapi, actually, frequency of our body, it also relates to apa yang kita fikirkan lah. What is in our mind? Uh, what do, what's the, what's the thoughts that we have in our mind, in our, in our um, head every day? So, uh, yes. Ada chemistry. Huh? So, um, meaning that if we want to, if we continue to have the same thoughts every time lah. Contoh lah, you always uh, fikirkan benda yang baik. Kalau even uh, uh, situasi yang sangat-sangat mencabar, you still akan somehow think of the positive side. Okay. So, uh, itu adalah satu pattern yang you created for yourself tau. So, kalau orang yang sentiasa negatif, Contoh, bila dia, uh, bila dia, okay, bila dia menghadapi satu situasi yang memang buatkan dia rasa susah, dia dia terus akan fikir habislah, saya tak boleh lah ni, habislah uh, apa, uh, tak ada chance lah ni, it's okay lah, saya tak ada rezeki lah, uh, semua uh, macam etc etc lah, benda yang macam he, dia akan cenderung kepada fikiran yang yang uh, low frequency, which is a, a negative side. So, uh, when we always have that kind of thoughts, it will create a pattern. So, apa-apa saja berlaku, 
whenever there's a situation happen, kita terus akan ke arah tu instead of ke arah positif. So kenapa dah macam tu? Sebab it's already be, uh, dia dah jadi satu pattern untuk kita. Sama juga macam when you are doing the young living business. Um, when you are used to apa? When you always have challenges. Uh, Contoh lah, let's say you always felt you always uh, dapat rejection daripada orang lain. Okay, uh, you kata okay, uh, you dah plant the seeds very long, tapi macam dia still reject. Lepas tu orang lain reject lagi. Lepas tu reject lagi. So how you look at the situation? Dia akan menyebabkan. Um, sekejap, eh, let me mute everyone. Hmm. So when you have, uh, when okay, it depends on situation tu. Kalau you selalu fikir, okay, you let yourself untuk fikir yang tak pelah. I ni mungkin I tak ada rezeki, ataupun um, mungkin I ni macam mana I share pun I tak dapat, ataupun um, I ni mungkin um, tak sesuai lah jadi business builder. Macam-macam uh, lah, you bagi yourself excuses kan. So what happen is the next time when it happen again, you akan cakap benda yang sama. The next time when it happen again, you akan bagi excuse to yourself. Tapi when you start to shift your energy to the side where, okay, tak apa. Dia cakap, no, I say next. So you will keep on going sampailah you rasa, uh, you rasa macam you dah did your very best. Okay, so uh, pattern tu sangat-sangat bahaya sebab when you already have a pattern, you have to look for ways how to break that pattern. Macam kita cakap lah, macam let's say you tak berani nak go live. Okay, contoh kan, paling senang. Lepas tu, um, buat sekali, okay, boleh buat. Tapi bila you dah lama tak buat, what happen? You akan jadi takut balik kan? You akan jadi macam, tak nak buat. Macam tu kan? Because you already back to the normal self. You dah, you dah, you are not used to breaking that pattern already. You back to the normal pattern. Okay. So, um, when you have thoughts that is good, they can elevate your frequency. Okay, when you have thoughts that is low, they can membuatkan you ada satu emosi yang akan lower down your frequency. So, I want to share with you guys about the frequency. Sorry, not frequency. The 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 the, 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 the expression eh, expression block. The feelings. Okay, boleh tak nampak my screen? Hmm. You guys see my screen? Boleh, me, boleh. Yes, yes. Yes. So, uh, so this is the feelings. Okay, the feelings yang kita ada. Yang kita selalu ada pernah rasa. And the frequency of the feeling. So start from below, paling rendah. Um, there is one um, staff, okay, who works in a laboratory lah. So, they always have this, uh, I'm not sure what is the occupation, tapi diorang punya, uh, diorang punya habit is hari-hari uh, memang kena measure frequency. Uh, this one is in US lah. So, uh, kebanyakannya frekuensi diorang adalah daripada 20 sampai uh, ke 700. So, that's the frequency range. So, if you look at um, if you look at this, okay, the tu tujuan they want to measure frequency to actually is is to is to check the emotions that they have, okay. And it's very interesting lah. about ada company yang boleh um yang memang emphasize on this because they know that energy akan be akan affect their work performance kan. So this is the frequency lah from um daripada paling bawah, okay, the alpha point sampai lah the ultimate consciousness. So the frequency uh, 20, okay, start with shame. Bila kita rasa malu, kita rasa, um, you know, shame of ourselves. Okay, that's the lowest point. That's the lowest point of the frequency. Okay, um, and then guilt, okay, apathy, grief, fear, desire, anger, pride. So bawah semua ni is all the, you know, uh, so-called, Frekuensi yang rendah and emotions yang negatif lah. Rasa takut, rasa marah, rasa malu, rasa um, tak puas hati, you know, um, rasa rasa guilty. So, kita pun boleh faham kan macam bila kita rasa macam tu, 
uh, secara tidak langsung kita punya seharian tu pun akan terjejas juga kita punya mood. Kalau lah, let's say you are a mother kan, if you are feeling guilty because you just macam melenting ke apa and then you said something that you're not supposed to say, you felt so bad the whole day because of the guilt. Uh, so emotions tu is one of the reason kenapa kadang-kadang frekuensi kita rendah. Okay, so the highest one is actually the enlightenment lah. So how to reach the the highest one actually? It is uh apa? It is the spiritual connection. Okay, so um we if we are connected to our um creator, okay, and then that connection adalah selalu stabil. You know, you are always connected. You tak pernah rasa jauh. You tak pernah rasa macam loss of direction, and then you always ingat pada Tuhan. Uh, itu actually adalah um, tahap frekuensi yang paling tinggi. Okay, and bawah tu adalah peace and joy. And gratitude, the topic that we're going to talk about today, gratitude, frequency is actually joy. Okay, uh, gratitude dekat joy. So kenapa gratitude and joy have the same frequency? Pernah tak korang berasa macam when you are feeling Uh, ada perasaan bersyukur okay, Somehow kadang-kadang kita akan macam uh, Teringat untuk uh, Express our gratitude kan We express our gratitude We uh, we we thank We say thank you to people We smile at people Actually semua tu akan buatkan kita rasa happy juga okay, Because we have We are feeling our heart with gratitude And when we have gratitude We have joy So how to have joy? You have to You have to be gratitude first lah. You have to be grateful first. Barulah you akan rasa joy. So when you are doing the business, since we are all in the business kan, um, it's very important for us untuk ada perasaan gratitude um, as much as we can. Okay, uh, Because uh, when you want to do something for a long term, you need to feel the joy, betul tak? You need to feel enjoy. You need to enjoy doing it. Uh, you don't want to always feel like you kena paksa you kena suruh uh, kalau you tak buat you rasa macam tak best semua tu you you always you kena ada perasaan um, bersyukur tu dulu okay uh, then when you have that okay contohlah let's say um, when i when i talk to five business builder okay let's say i talk to five business builder today and then uh, mungkin daripada sesi semua tu um, i it's it's kira macam i try to find something from each of the business builder for me to feel grateful for. Contohlah, let's say business builder ni dia rasa dia stuck. Uh, tapi dia ceri, bila dia cerita, dia cerita tentang dia punya perjalanan when dia nak enroll seorang tu. So I feel grateful because she is willing to share that journey for us. You need to, kiranya macam kita selalu kena cari, okay, find opportunity to to feel grateful about about something lah. Okay. So, um. So if we practice gratitude, okay, it will increase our frequency level lah. So and the more you do this, maksudnya the more consistent you are, uh, the the frequent you selalu ucapkan um, kesyukuran, uh, then you akan, dia akan jadi your normal pattern. You akan sentiasa bersyukur. You tidak akan jadi seorang yang selalu complain, selalu tengok pada benda yang negatif ataupun senang terjejas. Okay, maksudnya you are, Uh, you won't be become a person that is so easily influenced by other people's energy because you know how to protect yourself and you know how to shield yourself from the negative energies. Okay, so um, so how to create gratitude? First is uh, something that I I personally experience lah. Bila kita nak merasai gratitude, you you can try to do journaling. Okay, journaling tu maksudnya uh, kalau dulu-dulu I like to have my diary lah. Tapi now macam I tulis pun macam cakap ayam kan. Tak boleh tengok tulisan sendiri. So I rather just type. So you can do something like that. Okay, you can do journaling or you can just buat uh, kalau you like to share in social media. Then you can just um, share like top three things you feel grateful every day. Contohlah uh, I... Uh, I Uh, Alhamdulillah hari ni sebab uh, anak-anak saya semua dengar cakap uh, Tak buat hal, uh, itu satu Second is uh, I'm so grateful because um, 
because I'm able to spend some time with my husband, um, sharing about each other's punya struggles. Okay, so as little things as uh, I'm grateful because I'm able to just uh, spend time with my kids. Yang tak kisahlah benda sekecil-kecil mana pun as long as cukup untuk buat you rasa bersyukur sebab different people have different environment, different life, different backgrounds kan. So uh, kita tak boleh judge orang lain yang oh dia boleh lah dia macam ni tapi kita tak tahu apa apa dia punya cerita, apa dia punya story behind her life kan. So as as little as um, spending time or taking a five minutes nap or taking five minutes alone, uh, kira macam me time, uh, as long as dia dapat buatkan you rasa macam bersyukur, okay? So, if you do that, practice that every day, okay? Tak kisahlah you nak buat at least uh, mungkin dalam seminggu. I pernah buat juga 20 hari. Memang I can feel the difference. I can really feel the difference. Um, sebab bila you always start dengan ataupun you end okay, Kita bermula hari dengan mengucapkan uh, kata-kata bersyukur Ataupun kita sebelum kita tidur, kita mengucapkan kata-kata bersyukur So, it's like uh, you are um, you are forgiving, forgiving yourself okay, uh, On whatever things that mungkin you rasa satu hari tu You pernah buat benda yang tak bagus ke Ataupun tak baik ke So you are giving you yourself a chance to live again lah Macam tu lah So the next day when you feel When you wake up And then you buat lagi benda yang sama Lepas, lepas tu you buat lagi sampailah uh, Dalam seminggu ataupun dalam sebulan macam tu Then uh, I guarantee you will feel At least a little bit different lah because kita perlu express we have to say it out we have to express that gratitude if you simpan dalam hati tak boleh sebab it won't work as effective as you say it out you ataupun you just ucapkan ataupun you you bagi tahu lah your kids ke ataupun bagi tahu your husband ke bagi tahu your parents ke as long as you share it out it has to come out my practice is always bersyukur sangat lepas makan masa tak tahu kenapa rasa and then the gratitude leads to another things. Yeah, betul, betul, betul. Because when you open up your heart to feel grateful about something, uh, and then dia akan leads to another episode of gratitude yang mungkin um, you sebelum ni you pernah uh, rasa so apa, uh, sebelum ni mungkin you tak pandang pun benda tu. Contohlah makan kan. Mungkin you tak pandang pun makan tu something yang buat you rasa bersyukur. Tapi, uh, bila you dah practice gratitude, as little thing as that tu, you akan rasa bersyukur. Uh, okay, so so um, okay, so now um, since we're since we are in this uh, young living business kan, so I will do the AFT based on the business punya affirmations lah. Okay, so I want you guys to just rate dekat sini. Hmm, betul, kalau boleh express the gratitude all the time Even masa masih bernafas pun kita ucap syukur Very true, very true Because um, nobody knows what's going to happen next So um, whenever you feel down okay, Kalau you rasa something hit you very bad uh, Things does not go well You feel so tired, you feel so exhausted okay, Take some time and to pause and then just take a deep breath. Um, lepas tu, try think of something yang you buatkan you rasa um, you boleh smile. So for me, I would think of, um, depends lah whatever things that buat I rasa uh, down. Uh, tapi for me, I would just look at my wallpaper lah, my desktop. Okay, and then because my desktop, I have my parents' face, my parents' picture, my kids' picture and then some of my vision, so I will just stare at them. And then lama-lama tu, I rasa macam, okay, I'm better. So, you find something yang you boleh, yang boleh buatkan you rasa, you have to focus, like I say lah, you have to shift your energy. They say you are already having argument ke apa kan? Ataupun you are having, um, you know, a hard time with your kids ke apa, this is for parents lah. Uh, sebab sini banyak parents kan? So, shift your energy to something else. Okay, you don't. You cannot focus on that um, negative energy. So, you can you can cari cari uh, tempat untuk take a deep breath and 
take some time to cool off and then once you feel better then baru you akan uh, dapat you know um, uh, move on okay so um, okay I want you guys to rate kan dalam chat box okay um, one word how do you describe your feelings right now do you feel exhausted do you feel um, nervous do you feel takut ataupun do you feel sleepy ke you feel whatever lah whatever emotions that you feel please type on the chat one word hungry okay <laughs> exhausted nervous hmm. Tired, nervous but happy, okay, sleepy, okay, uh, so alang tadi is uh, one word to describe your emotions right now, apa-apa your emotions lah, how do you feel right now, tired, kebanyakannya tired, okay, exhausted, penat, yeah. Penat. Okay. So, um, okay. So now I have a few oils with me here. Okay. You guys, tak semestinya kena prepare this oil juga, but, um, but I'm happy. Yeah. Okay. So, but you can just choose whatever oils. I give you one minute to choose lah. So the oils that you choose, okay, mungkin you just pilih ikut gerak hati you, ataupun you pilih you nampak oil tu, lepas tu rasa macam you nak guna oils tu. Okay. So there is no uh, right or wrong here. Tapi let's say you rasa you ada perasaan you nak you rasa macam marah ke apa, then you can choose something that can help to release your anger. If you know specifically lah, like you nak buat EFT ni, sebab you nak releasekan some some emotions. Ataupun uh, you nak oils yang boleh buatkan you rasa motivated, then you can choose motivation ke, veiler ke, transformation ke, uh, envision ke, apa-apa oils yang you rasa it can help to uplift your 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 motivation. So I have a few with me here, but I'm not going to use all lah. Um, I have release, transformation, veiler, dream catcher, awaken, gratitude. So these are the oils that I pick before we start our Zoom. So about this basically, uh, it could I punya feeling lah. Uh, I just go to my oil rack and then I just pilih je. Okay, so you guys can take your oils. Boleh ambil satu oil je lah, tak perlu banyak banyak pun sebenarnya. Okay, and then cuba share sikit, what oils do you use? What oils do you pick? Semua dah ready? Semua dah ada oil? If you guys already picked your oil, okay, please type on the chat. Um, share what's the oil that you pick. Agnes pick joy. Okay. Okay, grounding. Tak tahu nak ambil mana satu. Boleh. Like I say, kadang-kadang tutup mata lepas tu pilih oil tu pun boleh juga. Because it actually dia ada dia punya, uh, dia ada dia punya apa tu panggil, uh, macam frekuensi lah uh, sedang kawan anak tidur. Okay, White Angelica, Frank. Okay, it's okay April, later you can try to do it. Sebab so, nanti I will send the link. Okay, to the EFT script juga. So you guys will refer there based on the emotions yang you not release. Oh, motivation. Okay. Lavender or anak grab. Okay. So, okay. So now we're going to do EFT. Okay, EFT adalah emotional 
um, EFT sorry EFT adalah uh, apa tu panggil um, emotional freedom technique sebab I confuse with EFT emotional um, freedom technique punya tapping kan so um, so they are So dia berdasarkan points yang kita nak tap. So it's a tapping technique, okay? So we have many um, dalam kita punya kita punya muka, kita punya um, body, okay? We have the um, alarm points, okay? We have the alarm points that is associated dengan kita punya emotions. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do uh, EFT. Okay, I will just demo one time. So there are the, a few points. So the first is the karate chop. Okay, this is the karate. You know karate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Macam tu kan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the karate chop. So when you tap, okay, when you tap tu, you boleh use your dominant hand lah. Tap, 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 tap. So there is no limit to how many times you want to tap. You just tap. Okay, while you tap, you say the the apa the kata-kata yang you nak luahkan. Uh, so kat, apa yang you nak luahkan tu depends on apa yang you rasa dalam hati you. But now I will just follow you know the script that I prepared uh, sebab kita nak bagi korang nampak the flow macam mana. Tapi after this uh, when you started to do do it kan nanti lama-lama you akan tahulah apa nak cakap. Tapi kalau you tak tahu apa nak cakap I just refer on the script. Okay so this is the karate chop. Okay and the next one is we tap on our eyebrow. So you can tap on your left or your right pun tak kisah. So just tap on your eyebrow. Okay, and at the same time, kita pun kena cakap juga lah. Okay, lepas eyebrow tu, side of the eye. Okay, side of the eye. And then under the eye. Okay, tak payahlah nak, nak apa macam nak tampar muka diri sendiri kan. Just macam slowly tap je. Okay, after that is under nose. Under our nose. And then, on our chin okay and then after our chin is our collarbone okay our collarbone yang kita punya tulang ni dekat tengah tu so you can just like knock a little bit macam tu hey 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 bangun macam tu lah collarbone okay and the second last one is bawah kita punya ketiak <laughs> tepi tali bra uh, bra kita tu lah uh, sini semua lah semua perempuan kan So bawa ketiak tu under arm, okay. Just tap it, or if you are using this hand, then you can tap here lah. Okay, tap, 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 tap. The last one is our crown. Our crown. Okay. So that is the EFT tapping. So um, now I'm gonna just show you guys on how I can, how you can do this. When you feel like you need to release your emotions, okay. Uh, emotions tu tak semestinya kena uh, macam apa-apa uh, emotion yang negatif yang you rasa macam you nak release lah. Contohnya you marah. Kalau anak you tengah marah pun actually you can guide them to do the tapping. Uh, ataupun rasa takut, rasa uh, tak confident, uh, rasa apa-apalah feelings yang you nak release tu. Or if you want to focus on positive, like you want to focus on abundance, okay, or positivity, um, um, attract, Uh, prosperity, attract money ke, attract whatever good things that you nak attract lah. Okay, so pun boleh juga. Tidak semestinya untuk the negative emotions but it's also to magnify the positive emotions, the the, the frequency yang you ada tu supaya it can elevate it lah. Okay, so with the help of the oils, okay, you can just pick your oils yang, uh, yang mana you dah ambil tu. So I pick my veiler. Okay, so just drop one or two drops on your palm and then inhale the oil you guys can do this with me lah okay so masing-masing ada -masing, ambil oil uh, oil masing-masing kan okay so when i start to when i start to tap okay jap let me find my script kan amat hilang dah Um, okay, so okay, so my 
um, my script is more related to in, in uh, motivation. Tadi siapa yang kata dia nak motivation tu, so mungkin ini sesuai dengan you lah, uh, motivation. Okay, so you can take motivation oil ataupun whatever oil that you pilih pun boleh buka. Okay, so when you start tapping, okay, start with the karate chop point. Okay, so I'll start eh, I'll start and then um, you guys can just, you know, uh, tengok macam mana I buat. You can also listen and then after that, um, try to repeat it yourself lah, okay. Even though I feel really crappy and discouraged today, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I have so much work to do, but I just don't feel like doing it, I choose to accept the way I feel and shift to a better mood. Even though I feel so unmotivated and angry, I choose to love and accept myself. Okay. I'm feeling really discouraged. I have a lot to do, but I just don't feel like doing any of it. But when I think about what I have to do, I feel stressed out because I just don't want to do it. I know I must be consistently working every day if I want my business to be successful. So when you are saying this, uh, you just terus uh, buatkan lah the next the next point tu kan. But I feel like taking a nap. When I think about how much work I need to do, I feel discouraged. I feel like taking a break from this right now. I have a tension in my face and chest from all the stress I am putting myself through. I feel so unmotivated. I feel so discouraged. I really want to put this off until I feel better. I actually feel angry inside. I realize my subconsciousness is trying to sabotage my progress. I'm feeling discouraged and unmotivated. And I'm ready to shift these negative feelings. So if you notice tadi tu is all the negative, the acknowledgement kan. You acknowledge how you feel. Um, bila kita acknowledge tu, Bukan kita cakap, I feel disappointed. Tapi you have to like, tahu kenapa you disappointed. Uh, apa insiden ataupun kejadian ataupun situasi yang you rasa uh, making you feel, um, making you feel uh, apa yang you rasa tu. Okay, so you have to connect deeper into your emotions. So this is a bit weird if you do in front of people. <laughs> okay, so if you want, you can do it when yourself, when you're being with yourself in the room, tak ada orang kacau you so that you can focus lah. So now we focus on the positive statement. I can shift this mood anytime and I choose to shift it now. I am releasing the anger. Release and let go of the anger. Release and let go of the discouragement. Release and let go of the need to be always working. It's okay to relax once in a while. Release and let go of the unmotivated feelings. I'm choosing to be joyful and motivated. I'm choosing to relax about the things that I need to do. I will keep my end result in mind and I will get to where I want to go. I know some days I get more done and there are days that I cannot get it done and that's okay because I'm choosing to feel happy and motivated. I do love and accept myself and I love my style of doing things. I'm trusting I will build this business and achieve my dreams. I'm consistently doing my daily method of operation. I'm accomplishing my goals in a calm and confident. Sorry. Tiba-tiba get emotional up lah. So this can happen, okay? So you know that I'm really focusing on focusing on what I say. Okay, it's not just a script, tapi somehow if you are in the right, um, kalau you punya emotional state tu memang kena dengan apa yang you cakap tu, memang you akan rasa very emotional. And it's okay. Because we need to... Um, 
we need to release we, we need to release it and then we need to um once we release it bila kita dah acknowledge the feelings and then we release it and then we have to fill in balik the positive um the positivity okay so um you can do this repeatedly like tadi tu i just nak tunjuk you one flow kan daripada the first karate chop and then the side and then um buruknya tolong aku side lepas tu bawah mata and then bawah nose chin your collarbone and then your underarm okay and then your crown okay but you can do this repeatedly sampai you rasa okay and then you can do this many times in the day uh, every day pun boleh juga okay so um did you guys do it just now sebab korang tak on camera so i cannot see everyone do you, do you guys get the apa the the steps ada tak sesiapa yang buat sama-sama tadi okay za buat ah uh, betul-betul uh, yes sanis Hmm, macam kita ada masalah lepas tu kita nak release kan kita nak keluarkan so we um, biasanya kita just cakap dengan hati kan ataupun kita bercakap dengan um, apa husband tapi kalau let's say you want to um, say it out at the same time you just tap so the step is very very apa very senang you just tap tap tap, tap. okay sebab bila you tap tu you akan touch the alarm point uh, alarm point yang connected to the emotions and our emotional punya alarm point itulah so um and i tried this on on my son juga masa dia marah kan so i asked him to tap and memang nampaklah memang nampak dia macam more okay lah okay ah uh, anis boleh lah cuba tap kita macam luah dekat diri sendiri ya yeah. okay so Um, I will send you guys lah dekat the business group like what is the link Okay, korang boleh carilah script mana yang Sebab kalau kita nak tulis script ni Ataupun if you want to say it out yourself pun okay je Tapi you know, you have to know there are three steps lah First is you have to acknowledge Okay, you can acknowledge your emotions And then you have to release it You release it, after that you can Kena fill up with the positive Positive words, okay, positive sentence so that um you tak rasa you rasa macam you are you akan rasa macam much better lah after that okay so um anyone yang ada buat tadi ataupun tak buat uh, just tengok i buat dulu um kalau you nak buat dengan orang sebelah pun boleh juga uh, boleh juga tapi The thing is you need to focus on your apa kan Ataupun I can imagine is like um, You know, kalau you dah biasa buat ni kan Macam you dah tak ada, tak rasa malu ke You rasa macam buat lah, buat, buat EFT tu yang biasa So yeah, why not kan You can just do when there are people Just tap 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 kan? Tapi so far I just do it uh, macam apa Haa uh, Whenever I needed some motivational boost lah. Alarm point tu bila kita tap maksudnya kita sedarkan diri dengan benda positif. Yeah, something that you touch your alarm, you touch your uh, kira macam. Okay. What's the word lah? Oops. Um, okay, so the points kan, eh, oh, so the points kan actually dia adalah uh, the meridian, you know, the Chinese punya, uh, dia ada banyak banyak meridian, okay, uh, so all the different points, karate chop is the small intestine, top of head is the governing, eyebrow is our bladder, uh, side of eyes is gallbladder, uh, under eye is stomach, And the nose is the governing vessel. Chin is the central vessel. So semua ni dia ada dia punya uh, point yang connected to our ni lah, our organ. So when we tap it, it's like we are releasing or we are, um, apa tu panggil, uh, we are uh, triggering it, okay, 
to acknowledge, release and um, apa and tukar dengan benda-benda yang positif. So maksudnya macam macam juga kita buat uh, emotional release book yang blue color tu. Okay, yang buku biru tu. I don't have it right here. Tapi buku biru tu pun actually lebih kurang konsep yang sama lah. You have to know what is your pain point. Um, let's say macam semalam, I, I baru buat dengan my husband. She has a spine, dia punya belakang L3, L4 area tu lah. Selalu sakit. So I look into the book and then I show him. Are you feeling this right now? Sebab uh, point tu dia akan lead you to what is the emotional emotional feeling yang you rasa. So dia ada perasaan difficulty, feeling unsupported ah macam itulah. So bila dia kita dah tahu emotions yang mungkin menyebabkan tempat tu selalu sakit. So and then dalam buku tu pun dia ada suggest you uh, what oils for you to use. So when you have the reference, it's easier for you to drive yourself into that emotions, release it and tukar dengan benda yang positif uh, macam tu. So EFT ni is just another technique for you to release your um, your emotions. Okay, uh, I'm not sure lah who is the, apa tu panggil, who is the, what is the history senang nak tackle. Betul, and um, I think as oiler, the good thing about us being oiler is we know all this technique yang you tidak boleh belajar dari luar. Kalau you tengok internet pun mungkin you takkan faham sebab tak ada orang demo tak ada orang explain in uh, in more details tapi when you have um, when you have exposure okay in a community like this then you tahu and people will share the experience their testimonials so you pun boleh cuba-cuba and guna and find the resources buy the blue book buy the oils yang you kena guna so itu memang membantulah senang nak tackle okay so i think that's all from me anyone wants to share Okay lah, sekarang ni kita dah habis dah kita punya Monday Wisdom. So, this is, um, we are all here, we are all academy kan? Academy punya members. So, since it's already the last day, anyone like wants to share apa-apalah you nak share? Uh, maybe the last before 10 kita habis nanti. Anyone wants to unmute and share? Apa-apalah, you rasa macam what's bothering you ataupun you feel like um, something that you just need to bend out, um, it's a safe space for you to share. Ada tak sesiapa? Tak ada. Okay. <laughs> Okay, tak apa. So, um, tak ada eh? Okay. So, semua okay lah. I hope everyone is okay. Um, and apa tu? Uh, so, for the academy, um, on the, kita punya, uh, when is, eh, sorry, kita punya bulan September ni, uh, August has been really quiet. I'm not sure kalau korang perasan tak. August memang a bit quiet. Uh, other than this Monday Wisdom, kita tak ada, banyak-banyak uh, sharing sangat kan uh, tapi uh, September I will try to be more uh, apa kira macam create more things for us to do lah okay, sebab I know some of you pun mungkin masih baru kan uh, one or two of you yang join hari ni uh, so insyaAllah nanti I will share more with you guys okay so thank you so much for joining tonight um, sorry for my <laughs> my dramatic moment tadi uh, but I guess you guys pun faham lah kan how, how, how does it uh, look like when you are doing the business kan and then sometimes there are things that feel better yes definitely feel better um, thank you so uh, apa ni so thank you so much again uh, for your time okay so kita akan uh, end here lah so take care and have a nice holiday tomorrow Okay, bye. And for those yang setengah fighting, kita doakanlah untuk orang sama-sama supaya orang dapat, um, you know, uh, dipermudahkan urusan and also uh, dapat mencapai goal masing-masing. There are still time. Um, from my experience, 
PV atau OGV tu saat-saat akhir pun dia boleh datang lagi. Selagi belum sampai 12 pagi, 12 tengah 12 tengah malam um, satu hari bulan tu you still have the chance. Okay. Sebelas lima puluh sembilan. Ah yes, sebelas lima puluh sembilan. Yes. So you still have the chance. Okay. So cubalah. Alright. Okay. Thank you everyone. Assalamualaikum. Good night. Okay, salam. Good night. Bye. Bye, man. Bye-bye. Thank you all.